Hi, I'm Cal Van Doren, an engineer here at ANSYS, and today I want to show you a cool application uh, that I was able to accomplish using the Behavior Execution Engine that's an integration to Cameo out of the Model Center suite of tools. So there are many, many videos that we have out there about Behavior Execution Engine and what it can do for you, and I just wanted to show off one quick demo um, that I was able to create that's kind of a bite-sized example of something that you could accomplish uh, using Behavior Execution Engine. So right here, I'm here in my Cameo tool, my Cameo Enterprise Architecture. And I have a very simple state machine set up that represents a ground station called Wallops I'm on Wallops Island, Virginia. And I have one satellite that I'm, I'm using to connect to uh, with this ground station. So what all that's happening here is that the uh, ground station, whenever it can see the satellite as determined by access computations within STK, when the ground station can see the satellite, it'll send a signal to the satellite to start communications. Then the satellite has uh, an arbitrary time that can be changed by the user that it needs to have consistent contact to be able to empty its recorder. And so the ground station satellite will continue to communicate until either that time elapses and the ground station still has access to the satellite where it'll send a shutdown signal and the satellite will go back to operational mode. Or the satellite goes over the hill, the contact's over, the contact was too short, and the recorder didn't get dumped in time. And then in that case, uh, the contact is deemed a failure. So ultimately, that loop will just continue and continue within Cameo here, within our state machines. And we'll be able to see how many of our contacts that we have are successes and how many are failures based on that amount of time um, that these two objects need to communicate. In this case, I started with 12 minutes as my baseline time. But that can be changed within Cameo if I wanted to do something like a trade study on this. So I'll go ahead and run this simulation here. And what we'll see is, first off, um, we're going to open up our SDK scenario. And now I can see that my SDK scenario is opening. And that is a scenario that I already configured uh, this execution to run with. So it reached out to SDK. It opened up a scenario. Here I can see I have a satellite and a ground station in my scenario. And now I can see that this scenario is actually going to propagate forward in time. And when Wallops gets access to my satellite, I call it PolarSat, I can see that uh, those two objects are going to change color. I'm going to see an access line between them. And if the contact goes successfully, I'll see that um, they both change color right at the end of the contact. And that indicates that the ground station successfully sent the signal to the satellite to turn off. If the contact's too short, I'll see that the satellite stays red well past the contact because it didn't have time to get that uh, shutdown signal from the ground station. And so there's some uh, very long time that's already coded into the satellite that says, hey, if you haven't gotten your signal by this point in time after the start of the contact, automatically shut off as soon as the contact's over. What that looks like over here on the Cameo side is that I can watch my state machine executing here for my uh, ground station. And I can see each time I go into contact operations, it'll either uh, succeed, send a shutdown signal, and mark the contact to be successful, and then log that, or it will fail not mark the contact successful and log that accordingly. And then if I go look at my simulation console here, I can see um, I get messages for whenever the startup signal is sent, whenever the shutdown signal is sent, and then I get a message whenever um, a contact was either deemed successful or a failure. And I can see I have a running tally. Right now I have eight contacts successful out of 11 total contacts. So stopping this simulation, if I were to um, go into my system uh, or instance specification diagram here. I can see that on my uh, ground station, I have my required contact time in seconds. I have times for signal sending, uh, tear down after contacts, set up before contacts. And I could vary each of these times and then look at the resulting uh, success rate of my contacts to get uh, an idea on you know, what kind of time can I reasonably achieve for a successful contact if I need to downlink my recorder in you know, a certain amount of time, like 720 seconds? How often can I do that successfully? This is a very simple example, but hopefully uh, starts to emphasize the point that when you're using Behavior Execution Engine, you can integrate to external tools and use them as calculators within your state machines and within your Cameo model. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this has piqued some curiosity, and if you have any curiosity, don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at agi.com. Thanks for watching.